Right now, I am going through a slap bass revolution. Honestly, I'm geeking out every single day. I'm learning new slap riffs. I'm having a whale of a time. And I want to make sure that you guys are with me as well. So today, we are going to be looking at the top 10 slap bass players of all time. Let's get into it. we've actually got a recommended listening list for all of the artists that we are going to showcase today. That recommended listening list is on a beautifully designed PDF and you can get it completely free. It links out to all of the YouTube videos of these artists so you can check them out here on YouTube. All you need to do is grab it right now in the description below. It is completely free. Go grab it. Now to organize this video, we're actually going to do the top 10 slap bass plays through history, starting with the godfather of slap bass, the guy who actually birthed slap bass into the world, the one, the only, Larry Graham. Just check out his right hand, it's quite unique. So one thing that's unique about Larry is his thump technique. And there's two specific things. First of all, he doesn't always play at the bottom of the neck here. Sometimes Larry's playing all the way back here, right? Which is kind of unique to his style. And then secondly, is he's playing straight through the string. He's not bouncing. Okay, for the most part, he's playing all the way through the string. Very different to if you like think about Flea, where it's bouncing like that, right? He's playing all the way through. Now next up, born only five years after Larry Graham in 1951, we've got the phenomenal Stanley Clark. What a crew. Hear them chords? It's really sort of like one of Stanley's trademark kind of styles is to add these chords in. And checking out when he plays those chords, a lot of the times, they're just fifths. Guys, quick interruption. You are clearly serious about your bass playing, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So I want to give you something awesome and it is totally free. It's called the Scots Bass Lessons Toolkit and it is jam-packed with hours of amazing lessons and resources, such as the modes revealed, the essential baseline creation guide, the top six secret tone tools you should be using to get a bass tone like the pros, and so much more. What have you got to lose? It's completely free. The link is in the description. Let's crack on with the video. Now, next up, born in the same year, 1951, the one and only Booty Collins. Also played with James Brown back in the day. Right 
check out the vibe of the bass. Got that envelope filter. Now, next up, born in 1955, we've got the monstrous Lewis Johnson, who has got to have the most outlandish and ferocious and scary slap bass technique I've ever seen. All I can say is, I'm glad I'm not his bass. Just check out how far his slump is coming off the bass. Oh! Also check out how loose his hand is as well. He's not this like, although the power's there, he's actually really loose in the way he's flowing as well. Oh! What? Oh, what's that? Now next up, we've got the monstrous Elaine Caron, who was born the same year, 1955, same as Lewis Johnson, but has a completely different style. And isn't it amazing to see all of these people coming through, you know, experimenting with this brand new style of bass playing, but finding their own pathway with it. And a huge shout out to Elaine Caron. He was probably the first person I heard playing slap bass. Well, at least the first person where I was like, holy cow, what is that? <laughs> Yeah, he's slapping on a six string and eating it up. Oh! And playing the melody as well. There's a lot of double thumbing going on here. Oh! A lot of you will have been waiting for this next one. The one, the only, Mark King. Here he is just absolutely nailing it to the wall. So clean. Oh! I think it's the light up leads on his fingerboard that gives him the superpower. Right? Oh! Check out as well, quite a. Got that bouncing thumb, right? Now check it out, if you look at Mark's thumb technique, it's very different from, let's say, Larry Graham, right? Larry Graham's played all the way through the string. Okay, Mark is right up here over the fretboard and he is bouncing. It's all bounce. Now next up, we've got one of my personal favorites, born just one year after Mark King, the legendary Marcus Miller, and here he is playing the Jaco Pistorius tune, Teen Town. I can remember the first time I heard this, I was like, how the hell is he slapping it? It's hard enough to play it with fingers, and Marcus is slapping it. And you know what? When I watch it today, I think the same thing. Marcus, how the hell are you doing this? Check it out. So precise. And these are like lines.
going to be using up pumps in there as well. Now next up born in 62, we've got the one and only Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, arguably the most impactful slap bass player of all time, at least in terms of people getting into slap bass for the first time, because just think about the amount of record sales the Red Hot Chili Peppers have had, the amount of people that have heard Flea's bass lines, he's slap played and thought, what is that? I was certainly one of those characters. In fact, this is the first video I ever saw of Flea playing and it blew my mind. I think it's probably gonna blow yours as well. Ferocious. Hook slap. Now, one thing to note about the way that Flea plays slap bass, specifically his thumb, is that his thumb is facing down towards the floor. And if you think about all of the other characters that we've been focusing on so far, Mark King, Marcus Miller, uh, Larry Greb, all of their thumbs were not doing that. Theirs were kind of sort of like parallel to the string or up like this. Okay, so it's just to say that there are multiple ways of doing this and it's up to you to experiment and find out what's gonna be right for you. Now, next up, we've got another one of my favourites, born just one year after Flea, the one and only Les Claypool. Ferocious. Now, last but certainly not least, born in 1964, the legendary, the one and only, the monstrous, the phenomenal Victor Wooten. And I've got to say that this clip that I'm going to show you, it was the first time I'd heard Victor Wooten play. It blew my mind. And the sound of this bass, the sound of this bass is my favourite of all of his basses. I think it just crushes it. Check it out. So funky. That double thumb going on. Can you imagine if Prince and Victor Wooten ever were in a band together? That might have been my, my ultimate funk dream come true. Now, honourable mentions, we've got Stu Hamm, we've got Doug Wimbish, we've got Brian Bromberg, and we've got the one and only Bill Dickens as well. Now, thanks again, as always, for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the shed.